Okay everyone, uh, this is Jacob S. Paulson and uh, I'm just going to bring you guys a quick uh, tutorial video on the Tweedroid app uh, for the G1. I'm a real big fan of this app. Um, I have it right here on my social media page. And so when you first open it, um, it does prompt you for some settings. Uh, so let me real quickly go back to the settings so you can see what this looks like. Uh, when you open up, these are the settings that it comes up. First thing it asks you for is what account you want to use. Obviously, um, I'm going to use Twitter, and that's what most of you guys are going to use also. Uh, so I just select Twitter and leave that alone. Put in your Twitter ID and your Twitter password right here. Uh, as you scroll down, the next thing it'll ask for is whether or not you want it to check for tweets. Now, if you have a lot of people that you follow, uh, like I do, that's probably not a good idea because it's going to be bugging you constantly with tweets. Every single time someone tweets, um, you're going to be getting a message. So I would leave that unchecked. A check for replies, check for direct messages. I have those checked. I like to know when people send me a message or a reply. Uh, how often you want it to check. I have mine set for every 15 minutes. Um, but you can change that. They have options as, as often as every three minutes and as unoften as once a day. Um, and so I have it set for every 15 minutes. Vibrate on alerts. I have that set. LED flash. I'm not a fan of that. Play ringtone on alerts, and if you want it to also make a noise to let you know that you have a new reply or direct message or whatever, then you can set that up, and you can change the ringtone. I have it set for that beatbox Android sound. Um, show shortcut icon, I have that unchecked. Show complete message and notification. So when something pops up in my notification bar um, that says I have any direct message or reply, it's going to read that message to me right there in the notification bar. Start at boot time. So I absolutely want to do that. So every time I, if I turn my phone off and turn it back on, I want it to start this application so it's always running in the background. The photo hosting provider, unless you're an advanced user, don't worry about that. Leave it alone. Image quality, once again, don't stress it too much. Uh, URL shortener, um, once again, not a big deal, whatever you want to use. Tiny URL is probably the most popular one here as far as options go. After that, we have some display options. Use screen names. Um, I like that. I like to see people's screen names. Use large font size. I don't mind reading small. Use metric units. I'm in the U.S., so I'm used to the inches and, meter, you know, whatever. Refresh list after sending tweet. Yeah, every time I tweet or do anything, I want it to refresh. And always update tweets when opening. So if I ever manually open this program, I want it to do a, run a refresh right then, not wait for 15 minutes. And then show, how many tweets do you want it to show? And 50 is actually the minimum. Um, it allow, I, I do the minimum just because it allows the program to load faster. And then you have some other settings. Leave all these blank unless, once again, you're an advanced user or you specifically know you want it to load your GPS location, things like that. I wouldn't stress it. It's cache settings. Make sure you change this because the default is to save on the phone. And you don't want to save this on the phone, guys. You want to save this on your SD card to conserve your memory. We all know that memory is very uh, precious. And then if you need to clear the cache, you can do that here. And then just save your settings. Click on Save. And just like that, guys, we've uh, saved our settings, and now it's going to go ahead and log us in. It shows your, uh, my most re recent 50 tweets in my feed. Um, if I want to go directly to my, um, uh, at my at replies, I click on the little at button. Okay, it loads my replies. It's going to show me my most recent replies. It just takes a second to load. Not a big deal. Okay, so these are my most recent um, at replies, and uh, you, you'll be able to see the screen name of the person that sent it. Uh, you'll also be able to see... Um, you know, the exact message and you'll be able to reply to someone or view their profile or whatever it is you need to do um, for whatever reason to take on the side. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so this is my most recent at replies. Um, I'm going to scroll up to the top real quick. You can see that Gary Craig's my most recent at replies got his message right here and there's a little arrow uh, to the right of the message. If I tap an arrow next to any uh, reply or next to any direct message, it's going to pull up a menu. It's going to give me some options. Do I want to reply, show that person's profile, make that person a favorite, uh, retweet that message, send a direct message to that person, or cancel. And so it gives me a lot of good options there. I'm going to go ahead and go back real quick, and uh, I'm going to pull up my direct messages, which is indicated by this little envelope icon. Okay. Uh, you can always tell if it's working. Up here in the top right-hand corner, there's sort of like a status bar that's moving back and forth, and that's how you can tell uh, when this is running and, and, and working real well for you. Uh, here we come. Okay, so here's our direct messages. Um, it's already It already, by default, opens up a spot to type in uh, a direct message, who you want to write it to, and, and then the message and hit go. Um, and then, obviously, down here, it has my most recent direct messages. And one here from a, a new person I just met on Twitter named Don. She has a great blog. Um, another one is from uh, Doug Rosage, who's uh, who we were just making uh, becoming friends, and so there's a lot of good uh, direct messages on here. Once again, I can hit the arrow next to anyone's name. It pulls up that same menu and uh, asks me if I want to retweet this, reply to the person, 
uh, send a direct message, um, you know, all those things. So I want to just cancel this or delete this out of my list. So I'm just going to hit cancel. Uh, now real quick guys, just to kind of show you how you can tweet or do different things. Okay, so now in this main screen there's some options. This little arrow down here looks like a, a counterclockwise um, arrow. It's a refresh button. So anytime you touch that, you're just going to refresh your most recent tweets. And you always tell it's working, like I said, with that status bar up in the top left. Uh, so now that we've done that, real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and tweet real quick. Um, when you open up the keyboard, it's going to automatically um, give you a spot to type. Uh, so here it's, it's loading here. And so I'm just going to type in a new tweet. I'm going to say, I'm recording a Tweedroid tutorial video. Okay, so I've typed that message in. Um, I can attach a picture if I want. That's what this image is. Um, or my GPS location, but I'm not going to do either. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the arrow. And just like that, I'm submitting that tweet. And uh, I can see it's working there in the status bar. And now it's done. Uh, it's been tweeted, so we're good to go. Uh, hopefully, guys, this is giving you a real quick look at Tweedroid and how it works. It's a great program, very versatile. Um, I love the fact that it pops up in my notification bar every time I have a direct message or uh, an at reply. Um, you can access anything you need um, as far as Twitter goes right here from this program. Uh, guys, I appreciate you being with me today. We'll talk soon.